We're in Big Stir, California at Riverside Campgrounds, and... I forgot a very important thing. What? Shower shoes. You scared the shit out of me. Sorry. Don't just walk up and tap, like yodel or something, whistle, <laughs> as you walk to the tent. <laughs> I was a little girl, I dreamed of what it would be like to go camping. My grandfather was a natural explorer. We'd spend school vacations taking road trips out to remote and beautiful locations. Too precious to be fully appreciated by a kid, but breathtaking nonetheless. When it comes to camping, even for beginners like me, the first place in California that comes to mind is Big Sur. Big Sur is a 90-ish mile stretch of coastline along California's Highway 1 in between the Santa Lucia Mountains and the ocean. There's virtually no cell service anywhere in the area, which makes it a popular destination for backpackers and car campers alike. Our campground was complete with running water, flushable toilets, and hot showers just a few feet away from the tent area. Okay, so I wasn't exactly roughing it Bear Grylls style. Baby steps, all right? The whole experience would have been smooth sailing, except for the rain. Not just rain, like a full-on storm. Last night around midnight, I would say, it started raining really heavy. And the rain started coming in at the bottom of the tent. It rained and rained and rained. Today we are in Big Sur, California. <laughs> My dog just threw up in the tent. This is about how the trip's been going. You know, I remember falling asleep to the sound of rain on a tent on one of my nature sound apps, but the sound of actual rain on an actual tent is more like a snare drum. We finally ventured out to Pfeiffer State Beach. Being able to see firsthand what people were talking about made me able to understand the magic of Big Sur. We also found these rock stack things, a lot of them. The practice is called rock balancing. There's actually a world championship held every year in Llano, Texas. Critics actually feel like this is a type of graffiti, but to me, it seems like it's a little work of art. Someone went through a lot of time and effort to create it. We even found them hidden away in secluded places up in the tree line. When the rain finally did stop, it was on our way out. Driving through a clear coastline, now streaked with rainbows, I could finally understand what the outdoor enthusiasts were talking about. The thrill of discovery, though at times unpleasant, is part of human history. That endless search for new frontiers is encoded in our DNA, and it lives with us today.